This awesome incendiary shotgun is one you don't want to miss out on, and it's easy to miss if you use this special key on the wrong door. In this guide, we'll show you how to get the amazing Sparkfire shotgun, as well as the Lighthouse Keeper's ring in one clean run, so you don't waste your time re-rolling the Awakened King area. First up, you will need to get to the Derelict Lighthouse area, but don't worry, we will show you how to get there as it's easy to miss. We recommend doing this on your first one-shot adventure mode run of the Awakened King DLC, as all of the areas should be there available for you if you know where to look. You can get to the derelict lighthouse area by starting in the drowned wren. If you follow my path through this area with the pigs and down inside the well into the sewer, you will reach this small sewer section that has a door which will be closed. you need to get on the other side of this door. So, I recommend using your mini-map and exploring until you can get to the other side of the door at this exact spot, and to get there you will be nearer the docks area and there is a small checkpoint as well. There's nothing blocking you getting to the other side of this door by exploring and going around the map. For me personally, I went through the area with the boats and then eventually reached the other side where the checkpoint is, and once you make your way there, make sure to open up the door so the shortcut's here for another time. Next, you want to head deeper into the sewers and follow the path pathway where the water will then lead you and around to the right where you will eventually find a warp door. This will take you to the derelict lighthouse map and there will be enemies on the way so make sure to kill them or run fast. Once you finally get to the derelict lighthouse area, it's pretty straightforward and linear to run and progress through the area until you start to see the lighthouse. First, you will need to find the special key though, so head here on the map where you will encounter two bosses to fight. These guys hit pretty hard, but you will get the lighthouse key off of them after they are defeated. Now you want to head over to the lighthouse itself, but once you cross the bridge, go left immediately and down through this small hole. This is important because you need to be careful which door you use this key on first, and you want to use it in the basement door first, otherwise you cannot get both items. Try and open the door, and it will of course be locked, then the game will prompt you to insert the key, but you're going to need to inspect the key first, and spin it around until you can interact with it. This will move the metal ring over the key to the other side, so that you now have the correct version of the key for the basement. Once this is done, insert the key to unlock the door, run inside, and grab the amazing Sparkfire shotgun for yourself. This thing is awesome, it uses incendiary shotgun shells to set enemies on fire, and this is just a passive because it still has a mod slot and a mutator slot, making it very versatile. It's also just fun to shoot things with because it sparks fire everywhere. But there is more. Next, you need to head to the top of the lighthouse where you can find another locked door. You're going to need to do the same as before. Try to open the door, inspect the key, interact with it to flip the metal ring over, and then unlock the door. And after this, you can run inside and grab the lighthouse keeper's ring, which is perfect for status builds as it lets you generate additional mod power for each entity within 10 meters suffering from a negative status effect, and it stacks up to five times. By doing it this way, you can get both the shotgun and the ring in one clean run without wasting your time. So, now you have some extra gear, I would love to know what builds you are currently running. So tell us down below and make sure to follow for more daily gaming news, videos, guides, and more.